How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and in this video I'm going to show you how to pause a Java program. So I'm going to use Eclipse IDE is my IDE of choice for this video but this works for any of them of course. Now um, I've created this file called sleep.java and just so you know what's happening right now I've imported a scanner and just as an example of when this would be useful just say you have some sort of number guessing game and I'm actually going to run what I have right now. So right away, you kind of get your welcome message. Um, but then, without any break, you're automatically asked to guess a number. And then, you know, put a number in, and you get a response right away. So it could be overwhelming to your user if they're getting, like, this wall of text right away. Have, like, one message printed out, a little bit of a break so they have time to read that before they get the next message and then they don't miss any instructions or they just don't feel overwhelmed by a lot of text and exit out of your program. So that's kind of my example and in this case what we want to do is put a bit of a pause after this message and then after they guess their number put a pause after that. So all I've done so far is uh, create a new scanner which is what we're going to use to get our user input uh, print out some messages and then just get some number that the user uh, types in and then just say that's a good guess so let's actually program this. You could, what I'm about to do inside this function, you could obviously put that every time you want to pause your program, but that's not good coding style. Let's just make one function and then call it multiple times. So for this, we're going to create a function, public static. We want it to be a static function, so public static void, and we're going to call it sleep. This function is going to take a parameter, an integer called time. And now let's actually code the sleeping of our program. So what we want to do is we're going to do a try catch block because this can cause an error what we're going to do. So we want to be able to uh, avoid any errors that would crash our program. So we're going to try thread dot sleep. And then this is where we pass in time. The thread dot sleep function takes some sort of integer and it pauses your program for that amount of time in milliseconds. So the number being inputted here is milliseconds. So a thousand would have to be put in to pause our program for one second. Well, now we have to do our catch. So catch. I keep spelling it wrong. Catch. And what it's going to catch is exception E. Open, close, curly brace to finish it off. Of course, if you uh, wanted to, you could print out some sort of error message. But this is just what I like to do to pause my program. All right, and now let's add this to our program. So we're going to call our sleep function here, and I'm going to pass in 2,000 so we get a two-second break. And actually, I'll do that down here as well. So after the user enters their number, we'll give the a little bit of a pause to make the user think our computer's thinking hard about what they just entered. And go from there. So now let's run this. Welcome to my number guessing game. There was a bit of a pause there. Now it's asking us for our new number. I'm going to enter in 7. A pause before we get our good guess message. So that's all I got for you guys this time. Leave a little comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you in a later tutorial.